Hello, my name is Cristian Antonio Vélez Muñoz and today I'm going to talk about the gastric ulcers. A gastric ulcer is an ulcer in the lining of the stomach, in the duodenum or the esophagus. This affects a million of people in the world yearly and this is more common and has a major incidence in the sixth part of the decade of the life. And this is related to the helicobacter cholerae bacteria in the stomach and the, and the use of anti-inflammatory medication. The more common complications are the bleeding, the perforation and the block of the stomach. Right now we are going to see a patient with the medical history. His name is Margot McLean. She is a 43 years old female with a head of 1.54 meters with a weight of 74 kilograms and the occupation she's a secretary and she's a smoker. She comes with a chief complaint of epigastric pain shortly after the meal and her boot and chest this discomfort. Was the timing she start to feel that just begin three years ago after the consultation. She was in a work break and after meal to three hours she start to feel that. And all their symptoms she feels is more married. In the past medical history, she has a gastric ulcer two years ago. And she is taking a medication. She is taking a During the medical examination, you use an epigastric tenderness. And right now we use half to difference what disease is, it is a gastric ulcer or it's another disease, a complication. Right now we make a different cell diagnosis. In this case we have to scare the esophagitis, the gallsternness, the inflammatory bowel disease, the acute cholangitis, the Crohn disease and the soninger ellison syndrome. Right now, to confirm that these acoustic ulcers, we proceed to release two tests. First, we made the helicobacter pylori testing. That is because the helicobacter pylori bacteria is the most common, is very common in the gastric ulcer. It can be found in the 60 and the 80% of the gastric ulcer. Then is the helicobacter pylori testing is positive, positive they don't have to be a confirmation that we have a gastric ulcer. To be very sure that it's a gastric ulcer, we proceed to release a endoscopy. In this patient, the helicobacter pylori testing was positive. And in the endoscopy, we found a ulcer of 1.2 cm of diameter. After we decide the patient has a gastric ulcer, this is because that is positive in the helicobacter cholerae testing and we found the ulcer in the endoscopy and we have to make a treatment for our patient. We decide the quadruple therapy. We decide that therapy because this is very effective. It has the 8, 95% of effectivity and this is conformed by mid medication the proton pump inhibitor, the tetracycline, and the nitroimidazole. After that, the patient goes to her home and come back to the consultation four weeks later. And when he come back, we decide to do endo another endoscopic to see the majority of the case. 